Well, it's Sunday morning. It's kind of a lazy day. Managed to sleep in a little bit. I've got some black rifle brewing. Uh, so coffee is uh, about ready to go. And I've had a little bit of a dose of Alice in Chains from one of my favorite uh, channels, Lithium. And I only mention that because the last channel I really loved from Sirius got canceled. Lucy, let's not have that happen to Lithium because uh, it's pretty awesome, actually. And so, uh, I'll go play some Magic, and the plan is to get some more work done, uh, probably starting on the war bike, the 883, and maybe going back over to the 1200. You are like so lame. That's right, baby, but nerds rule the world. I grew up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, not too far from Numana Colonies, and maybe that's one of the reasons why we always had deli. So Amanda brought home cold cuts and good bread and some sprouts, some dill spread, and we're making ourselves up some good sandwiches. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to compete with the cork and fork, uh, which sadly is no more, but we're going to try. Well, after some procrastination this morning, we're going to get back at it on the, the 97. Then we're going to work a little bit on the 883 today as well. But today's goals, I'm going to take out the old bushings um, from the 97, put in some new bushings. We're going to get the, the risers on, the clamps, and hopefully see what the, the uh, ape hangers look like. So here we go. Okay. So... These were sitting in the front part of the bike. These are the bushings, they go together like that. I simply pried the top part out, slid the bottom part. And what we're left with looks like that. And I am going to uh, slide these replacements in. Okay, so now that we've got the bushings in, I'm gonna bring the bolts back up to the lower clamps. And actually this one had some kind of ground strap on it. So we're gonna do the left side first. Not that there is anything tough about the ground strap. I just kinda of wanna make sure that everything's going together nicely. And as I'm doing this, I'm not going to uh, torque it to spec just yet. I'm just gonna to try to start placing things in the right locations. Okay, so there is the first riser in place, and now we will put the second riser in place. And after that, the clamp. All right, I turned on the heat because it is Minnesota. I'm about to put the bars in now. Here's the bars we're gonna be playing with. So I've got the clamp on, and uh, you can spe see that I've got the speedo housing, the top clamp. I'm going to start tightening these, but before I do, I'll put the bars into rough position. Again, I'm not going to torque a lot of this stuff down yet, because I'm going to have to adjust the bars to fit me once we get some of the other pieces in place. So I'll tighten them down, but I'm going to have to go over these things again and get them to torque. Uh, and, and additionally, when I get to that point, I'm going to apply some Loctite. Right now it's pretty chilly, and mostly I'm putting these bars up to get them out of the way so that uh, I can work in the garage and have some of these, uh, some of these items stored in place. All right, so we're going to raise this. And part of this, too, is I'm just real curious how this is going to look. Um, as I told you, 
I have a few different options as far as bars. So I want to make sure that uh, I'm indeed using the ones that speak to me for this bike. Okay, I think I really did that. back up like that. Heck yeah. Right on. All right, now let's see how we're looking for some of uh, some of this stuff. And unfortunately for me, I put my cable, my tie, in exactly the wrong place for the throttle. I have to fix that one later. Clutch cable's definitely going to need to be extended. It won't reach. at extensions on the electrical with that too. It does look like. Well, well nobody said it was going to be easy. That's okay. got the bar parts in place. Now I've got a few additional pieces. I've got a grommet and a cover and some screws that I'm not going to want to lose. But yeah, I'm glad I did this because now for sure I know that I'm going to have to extend that. Based on what I've seen, I'll run a string up and figure out how long I need to go for that. I've actually seen somebody change that out, so that should be no problem. Um, as I had mentioned, this bad boy is probably looking at some sort of extension as well. I don't know much about that. Because I'm thinking, oh, you know, once I got it into place, it would be okay. I'm wondering if maybe I should have done that before I bolted the the bars in place, maybe. If I bring that down and raise it, I bet I can get that on. So I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, I, I definitely think that's where that's at. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's pretty bad. Awesome. So I'm going to start cleaning up and then we're going to put some bling on Lucy today. Same reasons, mainly to get them out of the way. But there are things that even after the new tank and fender and so forth that I really think it'll stay on her anyway. So we've got like a speedo bezel cover and we've got a headlight visor that I'm going to put on the 883. More in a sec. Okay, now we're going to turn our attention to do a little bit of cosmetic work to Lucy, the 883 War Horse. Yeah. Well, Murphy strikes again, and I have to do this in voiceover because the GoPro went dead. But I did manage to get some pictures. Uh, we did do the speedometer bezel, which I think looks awesome. Here are some before and after pics, and actually the, the, the changeout was super easy. Uh, I've seen some people talking about these, and saying that they're held on by adhesive, and I was a bit skeptical about that, but uh, it's pretty solid. 
Uh, and the other thing I toyed with is I put on some spikes uh, on the, the, the hub covers, bolt covers for the front. And uh, I got to tell you, they pre-treated these things with uh, Loctite, and I had a hard time getting the Allen wrench nuts put into place. Uh, I ended up stripping one out and having to order some more. So the jury's still out on this, and frankly, I like the way it looks, but I'm not real sure that I like the the way it's held into place. This week was uh, challenging. It was kind of tough. I won't get into all the reasons, but it sure did end well. And I did a little bit of traveling and spent some time with family to celebrate the upcoming holidays. And it's a good reminder uh, to try to seek out other people that you can be with to the best of your ability and, and reflect on uh, the good things that have happened in the year, and uh, make each other smile. Because you don't need a large group, you don't need the government uh, to make the world a little bit better. You just have to have the willingness to do it, uh, because it is in each of our hands. And so with that, I wish you the most happiest of all holidays, whether that be Christmas or Hanukkah, New Year's, or something else. And I look forward uh, to bringing more content in the new year. Until then, please hit like uh, and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll talk with you soon.